Y'all see what's going on. It's another day, you know what I'm saying? Got the got the 08 right here on the stand finally, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Um we got all his parts or whatever in. With this bike, uh yeah, he didn't have no back brakes. His back brakes don't work, and the bike was bogging. So we're gonna do a couple things with this bike. We're just gonna do an overall run through, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna check the valve clearance. We're gonna definitely clean the carburetor, get a carburetor that VTEC tune up, and we're gonna um, put these these brakes on that he got. And he had got a couple other things too. Um Let's see, he had, he got a brand new air filter. He got front and back, great um, new rotors, um, a couple of carpet lines. He got new, of course, new brake pads. He's got some washing spaces right there. Over here, he got new grips he wanna throw on. He got a OEM used brake caliper and a master cylinder with the the lever right here. We got some we got engine ice. Yep, got some engine ice, y'all. And a brand new spark, spark plug. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Got some transmission oil and some synthetic 10W40 engine oil. So yeah, y'all already know the vibes, man. So yeah, he got all these, all these, all this good stuff. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna go ahead and get the get the party started, y'all, like we always do. We're gonna go ahead and take the seat off, gas tank. We're gonna first thing I'm gonna check is the valves. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna check the valve clearance first, y'all. But other than that, y'all already know the vibes. I'm gonna tap back in. So y'all see the vibes. I took the sub frame off, everything, took the, the um the valve cover off. And one thing I noticed when checking his valves, y'all, his um his right intake valve clearance is too tight so he definitely gonna need a valve adjustment on his right clearance right here you know what i'm saying the left clearance was good and the two exhaust valve clearances is, is good you know what i'm saying so he's gonna need a valve adjustment um so what i'm gonna do next y'all i'm just gonna go ahead and pull off the um you know the cam housing so we go ahead and give him a valve adjustment but other than that y'all already know i'm gonna tap back in as y'all can see, I got the carburetor off. We're gonna blow through the carburetor like always, y'all. We're gonna blow through. Y'all see the vibes? I'm tapping back in. As y'all can see, I got the new efforts in there. You know what I'm saying? Brand new efforts. So here go the old one. Right here. You know what I'm saying? Dirty efforts. We're gonna put that over there for him. So next thing we're gonna do, y'all, we're gonna go ahead and swap out the um, rear brake system. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna switch out the rear brake system. We're gonna switch out, we're gonna put these new calipers on, on the bike with the new brake pads, with the new grips. But other than that, y'all already know the vibe. But one thing I see that he forgot to bring, y'all, was that new chain. You know what I'm saying? That's one thing he, he didn't bring. You know, this chain definitely is rusty, bro. You know what I'm saying? You definitely want a new chain. But yeah, y'all, other than that, y'all already know the vibes. I'm gonna tap back in. Tapping back in. Y'all see the vibes? I got the um the new rotors put on with the new brake pads. You know what I'm saying? Brand new rotors, so his brake should be real sharp with new brake pads, y'all. As you can see, this is the old brake pads. You know what I'm saying? These brake pads was over with, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, these these one of the worst brake pads I've seen. You know what I'm saying? These brake pads were over with, and we got the, the caliper. This thing was worn down to the to the to the metal to the metal pad. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah, we got the the new the other um caliper on, and everything with the new brake pads, the new rotor right there. You know what I'm saying? Got brake fluid, put fresh brake fluid in it, fooled up. But um, yeah, another thing I got the grips on too. Throw the grips on real quick. But yeah, y'all, I'm gonna um, go ahead and throw on the back wheel real quick and make sure they um, bleed the back brakes just to make sure they're perfect. Now, other than that, y'all already know the vibe. I'm gonna tap back in. Y'all already see the vibe. I'm tapping back in. But as y'all can see, I got the new engine oil in there, whatever. Got um, the new engine ice in there. You know what I'm saying? A good engine ice. Uh, his back brakes and everything working nice and perfect. Now, back brakes are real sharp or whatever. But um, yeah, as y'all can see, Everything pretty, pretty look good. You know what I'm saying? Everything else pretty look good. But there's one more thing I wanted to check, um, show y'all real quick. Is that on this side with his oil filter, 
is that it was missing the screw right here. You know what I'm saying? So what I noticed is that they had put some type of glue inside of that hole, y'all. So they made it to the point to where they kind of didn't need that screw, that screw right there, whatever. So if he wanted to fix that problem, he'll have to get a, a, um, another stator cover or whatever. But it's not leaking no oil or nothing like that from it for right now. But, you know, that might be something he want to do is get a new stator cover so he can um, have two screws where the oil fits to go at. But other than that, that's um, that's pretty much it. You know what I'm saying? Got new rotors and everything on there. But let's see if we got the V-tub, you know what I'm saying? What we've been waiting for. Make sure the engine is cold, nice and cold or whatever. But yeah, as y'all can see, it's kill switch and everything. That's one thing I had forgot to um, tell y'all that I had changed to his kill switch. You know what I'm saying? Because his old kill switch wasn't working or whatever. But yeah, I got all his parts right here. You know what I'm saying? Like I told y'all, I don't like keeping parts. Got all his old parts, everything that's old right here. But um. Yeah, other than that, y'all already know the vibes, man. Y'all just stay tuned for the, the um, test ride video or whatever. Y'all leave a comment. Let me know how y'all feel about the, um, the CRF 150, the 08 CRF 150 um, R bit wheel or whatever. But other than that, man, if y'all need any bikes fixed, you know what I'm saying? Hit me up at Get It In Gear Cycle, you know what I'm saying? South Florida vibes, the V-Touch real. But other than that, we're going to go from there.